Do you have a fan from the inside to cool off the engine? No, what happens when the, it has a cool down period, when the engine stops. While it's flying? What about, I'm talking no, about in flight. No, no, no. In the flight, what do you rely on? For, what, what is, the I mean? air from the outside. You got, it's, it has a cover on it, it has two yeah. holes up front, but actually, just like the full scale, and it sucks an air until the, most of the moment, air is coming in. Yeah. Pulling it, pulling it the you go with the, with the helicopter, the cooler the air gets. Well, it also gets thinner too, as you go right. up higher, the air gets thinner, so you got to be really careful. Jet engines, for, for they have very high compression engine. They like cooler weather. They don't really like hot air. They like cold air. They like to get the cold air and compress it down and extend it out the back. Right. So on a really, really hot day, the machine's going to fall a little different. Right. The same thing with you in a nitro engine. If a hot right. day, you know, the, the gas is, is, is more vaporizing. So mm -hmm. on a nice or cooler day, you'll see a lot of jets guys, if it's nice and cool out, they, they'll come out. They show up and grow because the engine it likes to like cooler weather better. A cooler temperature, 90 degrees, 95 degrees, it doesn't like that, it's too hot. Yeah. All right, so the tail rotor. Okay, let's get on the tail rotor now. Um, how okay. heavy is it uh, full? The tail rotor? No, the, 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 the. I, don't, I haven't weighed it yet. Now this here, this is, is a, a unique tail rotor. It's called a um, periston fin, or similar to the dolphin. Um, I must tell you, this is not for an average builder, for an experienced builder to build this tail, okay? Um, because it has eight blades turning. This must be precision balance, okay? Um, Do like you can blow and it will turn. Right. The way I the way I test them before I put it on the machine, I don't. This machine doesn't like vibration with these tail. It does not like vibration. When you put these when you put this tail together, follow instructions. Pretty simple. You want to make sure these blades are perfectly aligned the same. If you can't, I don't know if you can really see, there's a mark on these blades, a high side. You want to make sure that blade sits, sits on that mark when you screw that from in. Again, from again? Right here, on the, behind the screw. Right. You see there's a, there's a little, like a little lip, a hump. That's where that blade is supposed to sit on each one. There's eight of them. Okay, you want to make sure that's there. Right. Okay. Then you put you they put you, this is doesn't this is not cut out you have to cut this out okay so it has a, there's more measuring more measuring more measuring then you put your it's a torque what they call a torque tool driven it has a main shaft with a bearing or bearing block on the on the back side here okay so, so this is this is this is uh, uh not belt driven no this is torque tool driven torque tool because it's it's a, it, it spins very high the belt, I don't think a belt vibrate too much remember this machine doesn't like vibration. Okay. So, uh, um, as you made uh, on the subject, um, a belt and a torque tool driven, what's, which one lasts the longest? Um, to me, it depends on the helicopter design. Um, torque tool with a dolphin, you're going to be better off with a torque tool because you're going to a direct drive. Right. Okay. Uh, a belt on a, another machine is forgiving. For I mean, if you come down and have a hard landing, the belt is going to give. Right. With this, it might bend. Okay. And once it bends, forget it. You got to you got to pull it all apart. You got to take it off. Well, belt is forgiving. Right. It's easy to pair, repair, and you notice right away the torque tube is is not forgiving. Okay. Now this is like I said, this is already assembled. Just follow the instruction to the T. Um, is a lot. Is a lot of gears in here. Make sure you lubricate the gears. You want to use. And then using that, that thing you showed me earlier too. Right, yeah. Same one, right? Filter and grass. One, one, then that's it, you do it one time. Yeah, one time. And where, where the gearboxes come together, use good thread lock, okay? Make sure you use thread lock because these gears, that's what's holding those gears on to each other, it's thread lock. Metal to metal, you're gonna need thread lock. Thread lock gonna be your best friend, okay? Because? Because if that bolt comes out, this, you remember, this is like a giant erector set, nuts and bolts. If that boat come out of this gearbox here, you have no tail rotor. Your tail rotor is gone. So pretty much uh, it's, it's doing what it want to do. You have no control of it. Right. Okay. Now what you, what you, what's unique about this, what I'm going to show you, once this is built, it's, it's already assembled and um, everything, you're lubricating everything and it pretty much balanced. You get a typical fan, like I got this fan here in front of me. Right. And if the pitch is correct, this thing should spin very easily. No problem, no, it should be no vibration or nothing. Can you show me that? No problem. And I'm a, what I'm also going to do, this is the pitch rod, the motor blade. I'm going to move this pitch rod 
I'm going to try to find a neutral position where the base shouldn't turn at all. And I put aft pitch and the reverse pitch in it. So it's been both ways. And when it's spinning, I'm looking for a vibration. Anywhere, if there's no vibration, that means I did a really good job. Okay, I'm going to do a test.